this is another good example of just letting the enemies come to you. He could have just actually stayed right here. And if he had pre-aimed, he most likely would have gotten the kill. So this is the result of just, you know, rushing. Even if he knew where the opponent was going, that would have put you at a really big advantage had you have just waited and pre-aimed. Welcome back to another episode of Subscriber Review, where I review your guys' gameplays and I pretty much react to it and I give my analysis and input in situations where I feel like you could improve on. If you want your gameplay reviewed, make sure to check out the description down below for the link that will lead you to a submission form. Pretty easy, simple to do to fill out so as part of the questionnaire the current kd ratio of this specific player's kd is a 1.2 which is actually not that bad for modern warfare he's been playing call of duty for three years his reason for submission is that he wants to get better at playing call of duty and become a youtuber one thing i do have to say about that for people who want to be youtubers out there is if you want to be a youtuber make sure you bring something to the table that people will find value in whether it be entertainment value or just your gameplay just being super good at the game or educational purposes such as myself if you look back to my very first few videos that i posted on youtube i've always been about helping people out so uh just keep that in mind if you want to do youtube so anyways uh let's go ahead and start this reaction here and I instantly see that he's playing on vacant right here. And to be honest with you, man, this isn't really advice, but if you don't like a specific map, just do what you can to avoid it because you're most likely not going to do well and you're not going to have fun in playing it. Now, the reason why I say that is because I personally don't like playing on vacant. So you probably will never see some videos of me playing on vacant. However, when I do play on vacant, I always try to slow down my gameplay as much as I possibly can, play a little bit more reserved, because the more you rush around this map, the more you will probably die by rushing because it's a very fast paced map. And as you can see here, he's already died a couple times and you really have to be patient with how you approach around those corners. If you think about it, it's kind of like a maze. And if you're running down the middle, you're pretty much going to get caught. Now, here is a really good example right here. Uh, this person was hanging out on the outside over here and he pretty much caught him by surprise. Now, the one thing that he could have done better in that situation was obviously pre-aiming before he approached the situation to give him a better chance in winning that gunfight. Now, that's exactly what I was also talking about. I was like, when you're running around, you can get shot from the back really easily. When you're playing on a chaotic map such as Vacant, you should probably establish your position somewhere. Now, in this case, he's playing Domination, and the best thing to do would be to try and patrol the perimeter of their spawn, which would actually be the C flag. So actually, I did see something here that he could have done better. And now let me back it up over here. So in this situation, you do see the fact that he did miss his shots. So he avoided that situation. He knew that he couldn't get the guy. So he's being passive aggressive, which is a good move to do. Now he's going to come over here. Now I think he with he was intending to get a different angle on the situation. However, that was not a really good idea to do because this is where they're spawning in at. And most likely by the time he got there, this person already has teammates with him who are ready to engage in a gunfight. And as you can see, he does have better positioning behind this box. So there would be absolutely no chance for him to win this gunfight unless he had something like a C4. He can throw it from that door and be able to lob it and get the kill that way and get possibly get a double kill. Uh, but that's just my input in that situation. By the way, when I'm making these suggestions, leave your comments also down below and make sure they're constructive criticism to help this player get better as well in case I did miss on some things that he could improve on. And by the way, if you do want this series to continue, make sure to leave a like on this video. It shows me that this is the kind of content you want to continue to see. This is exactly what I was talking about, how chaotic this map actually is. So as soon as he comes running over here, he did he does notice these footsteps. So that's a dead indication that there are going to be enemies in that area. So he should have looked left first. Now, before he approached this area right here, you should be pre-aiming while you're walking because these footsteps are pretty fresh. You know, you don't want to just rush blindly around the corner. I say this all the time in my videos. Whenever there's a blind spot, and in this case, for a fact, there are enemies here because of those footprints. You always want to pre-aim around those blind spots. And as you can see, this guy came out of nowhere. Yes, he did win that gunfight, but also at the same time, he did proceed to rush towards the middle of this hallway. And it actually would have, hit, have been a better position for him to be able to just pre-aim while walking first instead of just rushing head on to the middle of the hallway. And as you can see, there are two enemies here. 
who easily take him out and that was the result of that so it looks like right now that his team is actually in the lead so they have pretty good map control and that's another tip that i do want to give since i've never given any advice on domination which is actually one of my favorite game modes to play uh back in the day uh, but I just don't really enjoy it too much on Modern Warfare because of how campy the game mode can actually be. But anyways, if you're playing Domination, you always want to establish map control from the get-go. And there you go again. That's another example of just rushing too hard without really taking precaution. And that's exactly why I'm saying on a map like Vacant specifically, you do want to patrol an area of the map and not just, you know, run around blindly. So uh, back to what I was saying about map control, it's very important because you're able to predict where the enemies are coming in from. There's a guy to his left. He has to watch behind him right now. I'm looking at that mini map. Now he does actually come up on these kills, which is actually really nice. Pretty good triple kill. But there was actually a guy behind him that he also could have killed. All right, so let's see what happens here next. That was a good little hip fire. There's one guy down the hallway. He doesn't go after that guy. Looks like he's going to try to pursue this guy from a different angle. He needs to reload. When you're reloading, yes, it was a good idea to crouch right there because you were exposed. You had your back turned. All right, so there's a bunch of enemies here. That one, he just got a good flank. Nice little triple kill right there. In my opinion, I personally wouldn't have done that, but it worked out for him, which is good. Uh, mainly because you don't want to get shot from behind because uh, what he did here is that he was rushing kind of with his back turned against their spawn so as you can see the c flag is right here and as soon as he kills these guys there's a potential that there's enemies behind him and that's the main reason why i said if you're going to be playing on a map like vacant or any really fast paced small map like vacant uh, it would be a better idea to play just a little bit slower and just kind of move methodically around the map you know don't just rush around like this right here but uh you know kudos to him it actually worked out in his favor so yes, this, this would be a, actually a good move to rotate here back with your teammates and establish your position. He doesn't get the he doesn't quite get the guy at the first kill. Uh, one thing I would have done was in that situation was actually I would have actually moved into this room right here and pre-aimed and waited for him to go into there since that's where I last knew he was. And at that point, he was actually one shot as well. You could definitely challenge him for sure and be able to win that gunfight. Now, why he pulls out his pistol, I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, okay. Because he needed to reload his MP5. That might have been why he didn't want to challenge this guy. So he has his UAV, actually. He could have called in his UAV. Definitely would have called in the UAV a little sooner. I actually didn't notice that he had it yet. The game's moving by so fast. So he calls in his uh, airstrike. I believe that's what it is. He actually does get a kill with it. I wouldn't really recommend using those airstrike kill streaks on a map like Vacant because, you know, it's really hard to get kills because of how sheltered most of the map really is. So he's going to go after this guy. Teammate already kills him. And unfortunately, he got sideswiped by an enemy who just spawned in right there. So uh, that's another example of how rushing can actually get you killed. So teammate just died in front of him. That's a good shot. Go ahead. Try to meet him on this side. Pre-aim. Don't go out there yet. Yeah, so this is another good example of just letting the enemies come to you. He could have just actually stayed right here, and if he had pre-aimed, he most likely would have gotten the kill. But at the same time, I do see that he only has seven bullets left, so it would probably be a good idea to always use your field upgrade whenever you notice that you're running low on ammo. Try to replenish your ammo as often as you can, because with the MP5, you do run through bullets rather quickly, so always pay attention to that and do it in a safe manner as well. So this is the result of just, you know, rushing. Even if he knew where the opponent was going, that would have put you at a really big advantage had you have just waited and pre-aimed. His team actually has really good map control right now. And this is exactly what I mean when you're playing Domination. You always want to have at least two of the three flags. You never want to triple cap because triple capping will always make the spawns less predictable. And with the spawns being less predictable, you're most likely going to get shot in the back or in different directions. And you can't tell where the enemies are coming in from. You want to have as much control as possible. So that's why having the A flag and the B flag will result in the enemy spawning in at the C flag. Always remember that. So I'm looking at the minimap here. He's got a couple enemies right in front of him that should be appearing soon. That's a good little throw. And unfortunately, he got clipped right before he could actually get out of the way. Wow, that was actually a pretty good quick scope right there. Now, I do see a couple enemies right here. He has a teammate that's about to challenge these guys. Obviously, the UAV is helping the teammates out as well. He puts on his dead silence. 
Okay, yeah. So I just wanted to see what he was going to do in that situation. So at this point, I would have just waited right here. Once again, another thing, just be patient. Let them come to you. You know exactly where they're at or you have another option. Use your grenade. Just cook it really quick and throw it in there. If you were to switch to a C4 and you knew that these guys were here, easy easy kills right there just lob that c4 and detonate it while it's in mid-air easy double kill right there so uh, that's something you should consider using if you know you want to use a different lethal so uh those should have been translated into kills because you knew exactly where the enemies were now again uh one other thing that i'm also noticing is that when you're turning around these corners uh like right about here right before you turn this corner make sure you're pre-aiming while walking if you're just going to run around this corner it's just going to be way too late for you to bring your gun up because most likely these guys are already propped up as you can see here on the mini map and they're aimed in at you so you need to give yourself at least a standing chance to win those gunfights and running out here just like this exposes you and i'm not sure if this guy is still here and there he is right there and he actually does get the kill nice little double kill he pulled it off all right, so most likely the enemies are here in this area. So it would be a good idea to just let them actually come to you. But it looks like your teammates are pushing into their spawn right now. And that might actually force the spawns to flip and they'll start spawning in at A. That's why you never want to push the spawns. So they're actually losing B right now. Teammate just died in front of him. There's some fresh footprints around here. So be cautious. And here he is. That's a good little slide around the corner. Pretty good mobility movement right there. Oh, and another thing I noticed, this is a small little thing here, but you should also turn off your motion blur for both the weapon and the world because when you're moving around the map really fast like that, there could be instances where you actually miss opponents as you're moving around the map because it's blurred out. So that would be my advice is to turn off weapon blur. So as you can see, the enemies actually did take A as a result because your teammates took the C flag. So now you need to rotate and turn your attention into the A area without pushing it. Just stick to the outer limits of their spawn. And as you can see here, there is an enemy. Unfortunately, he got caught. And another thing too is I'm noticing that he's rushing into the action really quickly. And like I said before, you don't really need to rush too hard on fast paced maps. If you do the exact opposite, you are actually going to get easier kills on the enemies that are rushing around the map because you're pretty much just waiting for them to come around the corner. Now, I'm not saying to camp and sit somewhere, you know, you could still move around the map, but just slow your pace down a little bit more and you will get easier kills. And that's actually the result of most of your deaths is because you're running around the map too sporadically. And that was a pretty good pickup right there, thanks to the UAV. All right, so his team is actually up pretty big right now. So it'd be a good idea to post up uh, around that C flag area to patrol their spawn. He missed that shot. So he threw that grenade just to see if he can actually get a lucky grenade kill. Teammate just died right in front of him. Pre-aim this. All right, good job. Now the next thing to do would be to investigate these footsteps right here. Nice. Nice triple kill. Now, unfortunately, you know, they had teammates that were spawning in from right there. There's nothing really you can do. So at this point, if I was him, I would definitely go to the outer perimeter of the C flag. Actually, it's too late now. Yeah, those green lasers are an indication that there's somebody camping over there. Most likely, you are never going to win those gunfights because they're just so head glitched so strongly in that position. You are not going to win. So it's, it's best to just avoid that altogether. Again, the team just triple capped. So now that's going to force the spawns to flip. Yeah, do not even challenge that guy in the hallway. I would just try to keep your distance. Try to keep flanking around the map. Try to keep controlling different parts of the map. And that was just an aiming error right there. I think he totally could have gotten both kills. All right, good kill. He has a good idea of sliding in and around those corners. But it's actually not needed all the time, especially when you know that there's a potential enemy right there. Because they could actually be waiting for you as well. So uh, that is the end of the gameplay. Not too bad. He actually had the most kills in his team. Now, I think a lot of his deaths certainly could have been avoided had he played just a little bit more reserved. And this is actually a theme that I'm starting to notice with a lot of these subscriber gameplay uh, reviews. So he finished off with 26 kills, 18 deaths. Just a, a few closing thoughts. 
I do see a lot of potential with this player specifically and I think that he could improve a little bit more and, and avoid those unneeded deaths just by being a little bit more patient and this is actually a theme that I'm actually starting to see with a lot of these submission reviews and you know I get it it's a it's a shooter you guys want to run around but you, if you were to just try to slow your roll and just try to think about situations first before you get into it always assume that there's going to be enemies there then you would actually reduce the amount of deaths that you have in the game he probably could have easily ended up with 26 kills and nine deaths based off of what i saw so yeah guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave your comments down below let him know other ways that he could have improved if you guys did see some things that i did not specifically point out myself make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and drop a like on this video to keep this series alive it shows me that this is the kind of content that you guys want to continue to see and i will see you guys in the next video have a good day peace